Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, let's check out the HP 10 Gigabit Ethernet Flex I/O module and try to get it work with OpenWRT. The HP 10 Gigabit Ethernet Flex I/O module is powered by the Marvel AQ Action AQC 113C controller. It is known to work well with Windows and Linux. The bus is PCIe and it was built in HP proprietary form factor. This is the HP Elidex A05GA that a friend on Discord lent me. It is powered by the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G and comes with 64GB of RAM. The 135W power supply is also included. To make things simple, I will install OpenWRTs on the USB drive. And I don't know why it came out package for the HP 10 Gigabit Ethernet Flex Style module. I will boot it up, check the LSP side lock, and try to find the driver later. Since the A05GA only has 1 Gigabit Ethernet port, I will use a USB 3.0 to 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet port at the second network port, the one port. Let's go to firmware selector.openwrt.org to build the firmware. I will add in the driver package for the USB 3.0 to 2.5 Gbit Ethernet adapter, which is KMOD USB Net RTLs A152 and the USB 3.0 to Gigabit adapter. Let's click to request build and download the Swatch FS combined EFI OpenWRT image and burn it to the USB right using Rufus application. All good, let's connect all the hardware and boot up OpenWRT. In this setup, the onboard Gigabit network interface is the LAN port, it is connected to my computer. The USB 3.0 to 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet port is the one port, it is connected to the upstream router. Alright, we can see that OpenWRT is booting up I will set up the root password and then log into Lucy for further testing. As usual, this is OpenWRT24 runs on the HP Elidex A05GA. We have 64GB of RAM, which is more than enough for most of the tasks. Now, let's install the PCI Utilities package to check the PCI devices. The command is opkg update and opkg install pci utils. Let's key in ls pci. Here we are. The HP 10 Gigabit Ethernet Flex IO module is detected. It show at Ethernet controller, a Quantia Corporation AQC 113C and BT A02.3 AN Ethernet controller. After doing some searches on Google and ChatGPT, I got to know that the driver for this is KMOD Atlantic. Let's install it using Lucy. Back to Edit H console, we can see some logs on DMAS and the network interface finally show up on IP link at Ethernet 2. I will add this interface to the LAN bridge or BRLAN and connect my computer to that port. My computers only had a 2.5 Gbit Ethernet RJ45 port, so the link speed cap at 2.5 Gbit per second. I will install iPub3 for a very quick throughput test. Very well, we have a stable LAN to LAN throughput at 2.37 Gbit per second. I don't know why, but this is the maximum throughput on Windows for 2.5 Gbit network interfaces. Now, I will connect the HP 10 Gigabit Ethernet Flex IO module to the Zycel XGS1250-12 switch. It has multi-gig RJ45 ports and we are expecting a 10 Gigabit connection between the A05GA and the switch. After that, my computer will be connected via the XFP port on the Metanus Connect X3 to the XFP Plus port on the switch. It's all good. We have a 10 gigabit links on port 10 and port 12. On Lucy, we can see that the Ethernet 2 is also 10 gigabit Ethernet. Let's enable packet steering, 128 steering flows, and get ready for the iPub 3 test. Running the iPub 3 test with A streams, 
Times in normal direction, the throughput is fluctuating between 5.29 gigabit per second to 6.3 gigabit per second. Testing with a single stream, the throughput is a bit higher, which is 6.19 gigabit per second. Running it in reverse or download, the recorded speed is 5.86 gigabit per second. It's not like the air speed cap and we can't hit 10 gigabit per second throughput. I will investigate this and we will have a follow-up videos regarding this matter. Let's finish the test with an iPub 3 test with a power meter and we can quickly look at the power consumption. Alright, so that will be all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.